Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy. If you're new here, um, I'm in making videos about my cancer journey. I have stage two lymphoma um, and I am doing chemotherapy. I have to do six rounds. Um, today's video will be about how my second round went. I had my second uh, uh, chemo treatment yesterday, which was February 13th of 2023. And I'm just gonna do little snippets of videos um, every day of this week to talk about how I feel and how I'm reacting to things. Um, so to talk about yesterday, I went in at 8.30 um, and I had taken my Zyrtec before I went in. Um, and we got to the hospital a little early and we went down to the cafeteria, had breakfast, um, and then went up for my appointment. Um, when I got into the room, uh, the nurse told me, asked me if I had taken my prednisone, but I hadn't because on the bottle it says to take it two tablets by mouth daily for five days to start on the day after chemo. If you can read that, that's what it says on the day, the day after chemotherapy. So, um, I told her that and she was like, oh no, like you have, you should take it on the starting the day of chemo, like the instructions are wrong. I'll tell the, the um, pharmacist to like change it or whatever. So I had to take that. I, thankfully, I take everything. I take everything with me when I go to my uh, chemo treatments. I even take like um, all my paperwork from all the, the things that like they've given me, all the printouts they give me. I take, um, let me pull some papers. I take this like traveling case. It like looks like this, but I, I take this traveling case and I like keep my medicines and my like eye mask and like stuff in here. So thankfully I had um, taken my medicine with me and I was able to take the prednisone um, before she started the treatment. So because I took the prednisone at the hospital, we had to wait for like 30 minutes before we started. But then we started, um, they also gave me some medication for, um, for like symptoms. Um, because I had a reaction the first time, uh, the, the, um, my oncologist, I met with her the Friday before my treatment and um, she was asking about my reaction and stuff like that. And so she or she had the pharmacist um, give me some medicine or prescribe some medicine to prevent the, the um, my brain, prevent the reaction from happening again. Um, so the reaction that I had, and I talked about this in the last video, the reaction that I had was chills and um, chest pressure. Uh, but it was like a mild reaction. Um, we just stopped treatment and they went away and then we started treatment again. But this time they started me on treatment. Um, they started at um, 50 milligram dosage and then they increased it by 50 every half hour. So I was able to finish the R of our CHOP chemo um, a lot quicker than I did the first time. And then the other three that I um, treatments that I take, the red one, the doxa, whatever, and then the other two, um, they go a lot quicker than the R one, the rituximab or whatever it's called. So I was able to get, I was basically discharged from the hospital around three o'clock-ish, like 2.45, whatever. Um, so yeah, I was out of the hospital when there was still like daylight. Last time, I when I left the hospital, it was already dark outside. But this time, it was um, there was still light outside. So I got home around three thirty ish, um, and I was just here around the house, and I felt fine. Um, around five thirty though, I did start to feel like I was starting to feel kind of queasy. Not really. I was starting to feel weird. So then I decided, okay, let me get ready to eat dinner. Like, let me prepare dinner. Um, and the, the the Sunday before my treatment was Super Bowl Sunday. And we had, um, one of my good friends came over and she like cleaned my house. She cooked us breakfast and she had brought over like bratwurst and hamburgers and we grilled it and we watched Super Bowl and stuff. So we had leftovers from that. So that's, I ate a bratwurst for dinner and I was only able to eat like three fourths of it before I felt full and I took my anti-nausea medicine and I felt fine. Like I didn't feel nauseous after that, which was good. Uh, but then I did start feeling like um, 
like a numbness in my knees and in my wrists, which was weird. Um, apparently like joint pain is more common and it, but it wasn't like pain. It was kind of like, it kind of felt like static, like TV static, like just like a staticky feeling in my, my wrists area and my knees. So then I was like, oh, I feel weird. Maybe I should eat an orange. So Will peeled me an orange. Um, and then I felt fine for like 30 minutes and then it came back and so I ate another orange. But it didn't go away that time. I don't know. It did it. It just kept persisting. Um, but we were just like watching TV and whatever. And it was fine. Like I didn't feel like bad, but it was just kind of like a weird experience that I never felt before. So that was weird. But then we like went to bed and I wasn't tired really. I kind of like you know, tossed and turned and whatever for a while. We went to bed at like 10, 15 and I didn't end up falling asleep until like 11.30. Um, and I was trying to like lay down flat, but then like the the static feeling was happening. So then I, um, I decided to put like my back pillow, like how I had the setup before when my back was hurting, I did that again and that was fine. I fell asleep like that. Um, this morning I woke up and I was kind of like laying my head, resting my head on like the armrest at the back of the back pillow. So I was kind of like not, I didn't have the most comfortable sleep, but I did sleep. And then I woke up again at like 6.30 a.m., uh, which is the time that like Will's alarm goes off for work um, and mine too. But I usually like, you know, snooze it until seven, but I wasn't like, I can't sleep a lot later than 6.30 at this point anymore like every day I just wake up at 6 30 and even when I don't set an alarm I still wake up relatively early I wouldn't say 6 30 on the dot but it's still pretty early sometimes I even wake up earlier than that just on my own because I have to use the bathroom or whatever or I just like wake up because like I don't know my dream is over or whatever and then I'm like I can't sleep anymore but if I set the alarm for 6 30 then I'll like I'll see I'll sleep till 6 30. Um, but yeah, so that was last night. And then today, I feel fine. Um, I got up at 6.30. I, helped, I got Will ready for work. I mean, I didn't get him ready for work, but like I made his coffee and like packed his lunch or whatever and then saw him off to work. He left around, he was around like 7-ish, a little after 7 sometimes. Um, and then he takes the dog out and everything. Uh, and then I kind of just like was on my phone until around 8 o'clock and then I started to feel a little weird again So I just ate like this This Greek yogurt, which has been really good. The Chobani zero sugar is really really good. I like this yogurt um, The flavor isn't that strong, but it doesn't really matter because like in a couple of days I won't be able to taste anything anyways um, But it has it has a lot of protein, which is why I like it It has um 11 grams of protein and um, zero grams of sugar because it's zero sugar, of course. Anyway, so I ate that for breakfast and I took my anti-nausea medicine. Um, and then what else have I been feeling today? I had the, the static feeling got, went away. Like I guess I just slept it off and it's fine. Uh, right now it's about 11.50 ish. So I'm getting ready to eat lunch. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna eat for lunch, probably just leftovers again, or maybe something that we have in the freezer. I think I have like a TV dinner in the freezer, so I might eat that. Um, I'm drinking my water. I'm trying to drink the two liters a day that they had told me to drink every day uh, for like 72 hours after treatment. So I'm already halfway through that, which is good because we're basically at the halfway point of the day. Uh, and I've just been chilling in the house. I have this um, blanket thing like wearable blanket that Will bought for me for Valentine's Day um, because I get cold. I'm like always cold and I always have a blanket like around the house. Even when I'm wearing like sweatpants and like a hoodie, I still always have a blanket. So he bought me this wearable blanket and it's pink for Valentine's Day. Also like pink is one of my favorite colors, pink and red. And then I have my bonnet on still, just like with the hood on. Um, I pretty much have to wear my bonnet and I don't have to, but I've been trying to wear my bonnet or a scarf like 24 seven as much as possible because if not then I just start like picking at my hair because I can see like the frizzies like at the top of my head and I think it's just like I think it's like just the hair shedding so and it just like sticks up because it's not attached to my scalp anymore I think that's what it is but like I see that my hair is frizzy and I want to like touch it and then I go to touch it and then it just comes out 
and um, I did that a little bit too much and I caused a bald spot at the very top of my head which I mean it's gonna fall out anyways but I don't feel like like I don't want to wash my hair do the whole thing until like Saturday so I'm trying to just like stay keep my hands out of my hair so I'm just wearing my bonnet wearing my hood and just like going around the house like this um, but yeah like I feel fine today tomorrow I'm supposed to go back to work um, I just I work from home so it's no big deal I'm probably just gonna wear the same exact outfit tomorrow and just sit at my computer and just attend meetings with my camera off because um, like we don't really turn our cameras on unless it's like an important meeting so yeah um, and yeah so that's it I'll check in tomorrow see how I feel um, and I'll probably check in keep checking in until like Saturday because by Saturday, I should feel fine. At least that's how I felt last time. So I'm expecting it, it to be the same way or similar this time, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, and then if I wash my hair Saturday, I'll do a separate video on like how much of my hair has fallen out um, again, because I already posted the first time that I washed my hair since chemotherapy, since my first um, treatment and how much hair fell out that time. If all my hair falls out, I kind of expect all of my hair to fall out this time because like, I feel like half of my hair fell out last time. So I don't know how much more can fall out before I, I am officially bald, but we'll see, that'll be Saturday. So talk to you guys later, see you tomorrow. Okay, today is Wednesday, February 15th, yes. Today is Wednesday, February 15th. I am two days out from my second chemo treatment. And as you can see, I just have my hair down, still in the twists that I put them in this past Saturday. Um, but as you probably already noticed, my hair is still continuing to fall out. This just popped up yesterday, I just noticed it. However, I do have one up here that I accidentally caused by trying to get rid of these frizzies. Um, that are just everywhere because I think I said this in the last clip like my hair looks so frizzy and it's like it's not because I'm just like you know just letting my hair do whatever and just laying on top of everything and not taking like covering my hair like I normally would because I am covering my hair for the most part it's just so frizzy because all of the shed hair is like literally like this is just shed hair it is so annoying to me because I never usually let my hair get frizzy or deal with frizz issues when it's just in twists. So that's what's annoying me today. Um, today I am back at work. It's first day back at work since the second treatment. And I feel fine. Um, I have like, I had a long meeting in the morning and I have a long meeting in the afternoon. So I'm not really doing anything besides just sitting on my computer, which is what I would be doing anyway, because I work in administrative business, whatever. Um, I am trying to eat lunch, but I'm really not hungry like at all. Um, I'm eating leftover dinner from the dinner that we had last night for, our, for Valentine's, which Valentine's Day was still really awesome. We just did take out from a restaurant, brought it home, ate it. Well, I didn't go, but Will picked it up. Um, but ate takeout at home. Um, and I decorated the house because I had the day off yesterday. And that was nice. And it was um, it was still really good at night. It really didn't feel any different other than I said, let's take a picture because it's gonna be my last Valentine's Day with hair for like probably a year. Uh, next year I might not have hair, or at least I'll have like a little bit of hair, not as much hair as I have now. So I was like, we have to take a picture. Um, we wouldn't normally do that for Valentine's Day, but we did that this year. Um, but it kind of just felt like Valentine's Day during COVID. During COVID, um, we would get just get takeout and um, just have like a candlelit dinner at home. So we did that again and it was fine. Um, so yeah, I got, the whole point of that story was we got takeout. I ate dinner last night, but I didn't eat all of it because of course I'm not really hungry. So I'm trying to eat it for lunch today and I can barely, like, I'm not even eating half of the half that I have left. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a little concerned that I'm not really eating anything, but maybe and I'm taking my prednisone. So that's supposed to help me want to eat, but I'm really not hungry or anything. Yeah, I'm just thirsty. 
and I have to pee a lot. Like I've already drank maybe half a liter of water so far and my day's already half over and I'm still like thirsty. Like my tongue is like feels dry. So that's another thing. Um, but other than that, I feel fine. Like I really don't have, thankfully I really don't have any symptoms. Like I'm not nauseous. I stay on top of my nausea medicine. I always take it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, just in case, cause I don't like the feeling of feeling nauseous. Um, I did, however, did not get much sleep last night. Um, I intentionally waited until late to take my melatonin. And I'm only taking 10 milligrams per night. Um, so I waited until like 11.30 to take it. I laid down to go to bed at 11.45, 11.50 after I like brushed my teeth, whatever. Um, and then I woke up this morning at like 4.30, 4.45, something like that to use the bathroom. Did that, went back to bed and just tossed and turned until 6.30 a.m. And then I got up and started getting ready for the day like I normally do. So I haven't slept. Um, I only slept basically like four hours last night. And um, I don't feel tired. Like I don't feel sleepy. My eyes aren't like shutting. They don't feel like, um, what is it called? They don't feel... Uh, like irritated or anything was it called like whenever you get tired and your eyes feel like what is the word I'm looking for I can't think of it but I don't feel anything like I literally just feel alert and awake I mean I'm probably a little bit more irritable than I would normally be um and maybe a little bit more talkative than I would normally be but I don't know if that's what the prednisone is doing like I really need to read up more on prednisone because I thought that the allopurinol was keeping me awake but I'm not even taking allopurinol anymore so I don't know why I'm like still awake um or like not being able to sleep so I don't know um but yeah that's how I'm feeling today this is just a quick check-in I'll check in tomorrow Thursday um by Thursday last cycle, I lost my taste of like barbecue chips and like salt, like the salt would like burn, not burn, but like sting my mouth. So we'll see if that happens tomorrow or later this week. Um, but yeah, I just gotta make it to the end of the week. And then on the weekend, we'll regroup and see what happens then. So yeah, it's about that time. I gotta get back to work. My lunch break is pretty much over, so. See you tomorrow. Okay, today is Thursday, February 16th or 17th, what's today? 16th, today's 16th. So we are, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days out from my second round of chemo. I am still wearing this blanket, wearable blanket hoodie thing. Um, it's super warm and comfortable to be honest. Um, so how I'm feeling. So last night I was only able to get six hours of sleep. I tried to stay up as late as possible um, to try to be able to sleep in later because the night before I woke up at like 4.50ish a.m. and wasn't able to go back to sleep. But last night I was super tired um, and I couldn't get myself to stay awake so I ended up falling asleep at like 9 p.m. And so then I woke up six hours later at 3 a.m. and I've been awake ever since. I'm still working today. Um, I work from home, so this is perfect. Um, and actually really grateful to be able to work from home because if I wasn't able to work from home, then I would not be able to work at all. Like I would not be able to go into the office and everything. So um, yeah, so I got up, okay. So I got up in, at 4 a.m to use the bathroom and then I came, or sorry, at 3 a.m. to use the bathroom and I came back and I was like, crap, I hope I don't like stay awake from this point on, but I did. And I just laid in bed um, until like 5.45 ish. Um, I tried to go back to sleep, tried to close my eyes, tried to cuddle with Will to go back to sleep, but I just wasn't tired. Um, I was looking at my phone a little bit um, and then I would just like, when I got tired of looking at my phone, I would be like, okay, maybe I'm gonna fall asleep now. And then I would put my phone down and try to fall asleep, but I just never did fall asleep. Um, and then as I was laying there, I started, <clears throat> excuse me, I started to feel like, like 
I think nausea like creeping up like into my chest area and it's weird for me because like for me I don't feel nauseous like in my stomach necessarily I feel it more in my chest um, which I don't know if that's a common thing or not I have to look it up I would have to look it up but I haven't um, but yeah so I felt that around 5 a.m. or not 5 a.m. like 5 45 a.m. and I got up and I was like I would just go like eat something and take my anti nausea medicine so I got up I ate an orange um, and then I tried to make a boiled egg in the microwave um, and it worked it's just that the egg was actually already spoiled so I wasn't able to eat that then I wanted to eat cereal but our milk is spoiled so I just ate some like dry cereal and then I um, took my anti-nausea medicine and my prednisone this morning and now I'm on my lunch break from work and um, Will is coming home um, he's taking a half day off of work because um, the other thing that didn't get accomplished last night is we didn't go to the grocery store um, because we don't really have any food like we don't we have food but like we don't really have food for meals if that makes sense like we have just like chips and popcorn and like some leftover bratwurst from Sunday but like it's already Thursday I don't want to eat bratwurst from Sunday because um, I'm not really supposed to be eating leftovers that have been in the fridge for a long time um and also it's just like a fatty meat I don't like I I my stomach is like nothing hurts my stomach but like I don't really feel hungry and I don't want to spend my I don't know waste my stomach on something that's not super healthy if that makes sense or you know something that's really just like not that good for you so um anyways Will's coming home from work um he's on his driving his way back home from work right now um, to be able to bring me something for lunch. Um, I was like, I can just order like delivery, like you don't have to take off of work. But he was like, I don't really trust a delivery driver to like handle your food or whatever. So he wanted to take off work and I just let him help me. So um, it, like, I'm not against him helping me. I just, I don't want him to sacrifice everything, but it's like, it's not everything, it's just work. So whatever. So he's coming um, and he's gonna bring me lunch and um, I'm gonna take more anti-nausea medicine. I can start, I'm like starting to feel it already a little bit um, that it's coming up, but um, he's gonna be here soon with the food, so that's good. Um, but other than, those are my main symptoms. I'm not really experiencing anything else besides the insomnia, a little bit of nausea and um, not really wanting to eat or being able to eat that much like I still eat three meals a day I just don't eat as much as I would usually eat like I don't really eat like a full plate I eat maybe like half of a plate or whatever so that is what it is I'll be back tomorrow with another update um this might be my last update for this video and then I'll save Saturday for um the hair washing thing so yeah see you tomorrow Okay, today is Friday, February 17th. I am four days out from my second chemo treatment and I'm finally not wearing my wearable blanket. It was getting a little too warm, but now I'm a little too cold. But anyways, that's not the point. This is just a check-in on my symptoms and whatnot. As you can see, my hair is like, like it's on its last leg. Like there's some, I just undid the twists but there's so much like shed hair in there. Like I can feel that it's separated from the scalp. I can actually like, feel my scalp and feel where it's like there's empty space and the hair has already separated from the scalp. But because my hair is curly and uh, my curls clump together, the shed hair doesn't just like fall out. I have to like comb it out. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, while Will is doing disc golfing. Um, I'm doing this update a little late because I had such a busy day trying to get my taxes done, trying to like contact the state people for disability and whatnot. So like the day went by super fast, um, but I have a three day weekend off from work. So I have a lot of rest time. Feeling better today. I actually got eight hours of sleep last night, which was so, so, so nice. I woke up in the best mood. Um, I got some breakfast down relatively early in the day. It wasn't that early, not as early as I usually eat it. 
um, but I got my breakfast down. I was actually hungry for lunch and I ate two cans of soup. Um, and now Will's going to get dinner for us. Um, so that way we can have dinner tonight. I am starting to feel a little bit um, of the nausea creeping up. So I'm trying to eat some snacks and so that I can take my medicine so to get that go back down. Um, but other than that, I feel fine. I am having like a little bit of taste. Like I can't really do super salty stuff. Right now, I'm just doing salt free. Um, I may, we tried to make um, corn on the grill last night, and I like to put lemon pepper on my corn usually. And I accidentally put too much lemon pepper on the corn. I couldn't taste the salt, but Will could taste the salt, and it was too much salt. So now I know that um, I don't need to be cooking with salt when I can't really taste anything. So um, yeah, that's how I am now. You can probably tell that I am a lot less irritable <laughs> by now um, than I was like on the days when I got not eight hours of sleep. So um, I'm actually glad I did the video like this this time so I can get like an in the moment feel of how I'm feeling and realize, you know, things that are affecting me that I'm not necessarily realizing at the time that I'm filming it. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. This is going to be the end of my um, round two symptoms and side effects video. Um, definitely feel a lot better by day four. Hopefully by day five, I'll feel perfectly fine. Um, and on day five, you'll see me go through my hair yet again and see how much I have left this time and uh, whether or not I just chop it off or not. So yeah, talk to you later. Bye.